All right, let's play this. No. <laughs> All right, cool. So like you said, this is still in very rough stages uh, and that's okay. I think you are definitely good to go in terms of clear, um, you know, clear beats and everything. I think the only tweaks that I would do are at the beginning. So right now you have wing goes up, creature comes in at the same time. So all I would do is it's going to be super picky. Take this stone and move it over here so that the tip of the wing is always clear and a clear silhouette at all times. <laughs> I know this is super picky. Um, and then I would delay the entrance of the dragon. So that way we just see this and then the wing is moving. But then it can always go, go down to this. Like it can come up a bit flutter and go down a bit here. Then it comes in. That way, you know, we have like the audience sees all of this. Oh, what is this? Okay, what's that? And then it moves and it definitely will move over here going, oh no, there's blood and it's moving a bit and it's trembling and it could have a little bit of, ah, you know, like all your detail stuff you're going to put in, trembles the head, you know, ah, the jaw opens, it's in pain. Then the creature comes in because that way we had enough time. This doesn't have to be long, right? You can just do a quick little move and after a second or so, creature comes in. And in terms of this, I probably wouldn't do a flap here if you're going starting in specifics. Also, watch out your path feels like it's going down. And then this, just make sure it's on an actual motion path or at least legal in space. This feels like it's crabbing a bit right at the beginning there. Um, and then I'm here, I will keep it a uh, level here. So legs will be technically like this, just like a nicer glide. And then I would do the flaps around here-ish to break for a stop. So this is more of a glide in, lean back, then you flap for a stop, flap, 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 flap. Ba -boom, ba -boom. That's cool. Timing wise, watch out. It feels like you're coming to a stop here, especially here. You're going forward, stop, and then you shoot forward. So as you continue forward with the shot, just smooth it out. Watch out that the momentum is all ba -boom, ba -boom, and slows down through here. Since it is now on the ground and there's friction and all that good stuff. So watch out for that. Then it gets to here, which is cool. And I would just pump that up, you know, like the wings would be further back and you can have a bit of a roar forward, kind of rawr, just a bigger, like, get out of here. Mama is pissed or Papa is pissed or whatever it is, right? It is pissed. So it comes in here, lands, boom, 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 more of a rawr. You can even do like a rawr forward with one step. Like in a, you know, like a nice triangle pose. You got your legs here, but one leg is further back. One goes forward to get a nice, strong triangular forced there with the head out Rah, get out of here then you can do a bit of a quicker head turn eh, it's actually not bad given the weight let's see let's pretend this is all done and then the turn that's actually cool a bit slower imagine still kind of looking then a faster look over here it's actually really cool i wouldn't change that timing there it's nice then you can always do this and then by now i would slow it down a tiny bit because it's kind of looking at it not that it needs to understand what's going on. It knows what's going on. But I was just in terms of contrast and texture. Turn, then here, step, step, slow. Then use that time that you that you added here and take it out of here. So it's turn, step, step, hold a bit. It's still kind of stepping, but just, just slower. Then you speed up because it wants to get there. Then it does all of this here. The tricky thing about this one, just watch out, because you're going behind the kid, which is cool, but then you go in front of it, and there's a lot of movement. The horns are moving, the head is moving, and we almost miss the 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 kid going up here, the baby, whatever it is. So ideally, personally, what I would do is I wouldn't go further than this. You can always go like that and then go back again. But like, to me, it seems like you want to go and be very clean in your silhouette so that if it's here and sniffs maybe the top, it turns the head towards us a bit. And when that goes up, you have this moment. You mean like there's so much covering. We kind of see it here, but I think if you keep this all within this area, 
you know, and the head is up here. The other head is here, horns out, you know, and then it's a very clear. It can, then you can almost have, you know, it dies and the muscles relax and everything. And it starts to, the neck and everything, this section starts to go down. And then it's completely flat, except the head slides off the parent's head and then plop. And as it slides off, it can, the bigger one can go a bit screen left, give it a bit more room because it can't believe, oh no, it's actually dead. Then it plops. And then imagine, let's see here, you're here. So this would be head here, but imagine this would be, this head would be here. Does that make sense? And all that just kind of shifted back by this much. And then it can do this and do it. Arr, and I would probably give this another second. So once it goes down, I would do this, hold a bit, go back a bit, or go up in a bit of bit of a faster move. I know we're getting kind of the human-y behavior, but I just push this a bit more. So it goes. Just so it's not also swimmy. And I know this is still rough, but I would just look at cleaner silhouette and keep this, like I said, further back so it can plop down and slide down the face. Then it would do this and go up a bit faster and hold a bit and then go and I think yeah I'll keep it as a second a second longer because then you can almost do a full on roar and then you can almost show how it stops the roar and brings the head down again this is another beat I'm not sure if we need it but it could be an interesting contrast of roar because get out of here Versus roar in pain and then end it with head going back, mouth closed, and just having that sad head down looking at a, a dead child. Just for contrast, and you can end it almost on that on that sad note versus another rare. But I mean, can easily also just end it here, and that's the pain, the pain of loss. That would be the way to cut it. That's kind of up to you. And then just watch out, you got this. This arrow goes, I'm tired, I'm tired, I need to lay down. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.